Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. I'm Kelly Copeland, and we have already been having a powerful healing week on the broadcast, but it's not over. My mom, Gloria Copeland, is teaching us today about Jesus, our healer, and how healing belongs to us. It's ours. We don't have to get it. We don't have to go find it. It is ours. And she's teaching us today how we have to stand our ground on the Word of God. We have to stand in faith and we have to take our healing. These things that we're learning today will bring well-being to all areas of our life. Health, family, finances, relationships. And you may want to go back and watch them again and again. Send them to neighbors. Make your kids watch them. Make your uh, friends and spouse watch them. Why? Because... It's putting the word in, it's putting the word in, it's putting the word in and making us strong. They're free on our website, kcm.org, or go to our KCM Roku channel. So today, let the word build your faith as you watch or if you listen. Then get ready for a powerful healing prayer at the close of the message. Today, we're going to receive our healing. We're going to lay hold of healing. Jesus is still the healer. He was the healer. He is the healer. He will always be the healer. I'm not the healer, but I can tell you these things about the Word of God that will bring faith, and we will act on them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, uh, the woman with, let's look at the woman with the issue of blood speaking about acting on the Word of God, Mark 5. She's a famous woman. Very famous. She, she, she let us know what we're supposed to do. All right, 525. Oh, I remember Brother Hagin preaching on this. The woman with the issue of blood. Now remember, Jesus is, Jesus is having a healing meeting. Glory to God. And... Uh, People besought him greatly. They wanted, one man wanted him to come pray for his daughter because he was, she was at the point of death. Jesus went with him and many people followed him and thronged him. That would be Mark 5. This is 25. And now in all this throng, and you know this woman, but she's, she's a good example of how we take our healing. A certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years. This is Mark 5, 25 and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, better, but rather grew worse, she heard something exciting. She heard about Jesus. When she'd heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment, for she said, now we learn, we learn faith from this woman. We learn that faith takes it. We learn that faith receives it. We learn that faith acts it. She said, and faith says it. Faith said, she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. We've talked about faith this week. Faith, uh, your, your faith is always in your words. If you're, if you're speaking sickness, you don't have any faith in healing. If you're speaking healing, you don't have any faith in sickness. We get what we say, the scripture says. She said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. She declared it. And uh, the straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue or power had gone out of him, turned and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said, you see the multitude thronging you. And you say, who touched me? He looked around and see her, to see her had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell at his, at his feet. And he said to her, thy faith has made thee whole. Now, Brother Hagin used to say, if anybody anywhere would do these four things that that woman did, they could receive anything from the Lord. Number one, she said it. She said what she was doing and what she was going to do and what would happen when she did it. If I just touch his garment, I shall be whole. She didn't say maybe I would be. She said, I shall be whole. 
And then she did it. It wasn't easy. She was a sick woman and she was bleeding. She was not supposed to, it was against the rules for her to be out in that condition. But she said, if I but touch his garment, I shall be whole. That was her faith. She did it. She got out of that place and she got down and she fought and she came in, what does it say? The press behind and she touched his garment. She, she was saying, if he doesn't have to even know I'm there. If I just can touch him, I'll be healed. So she, she, she made the determination of how she's going to be healed with her, with her words. She touched him. So she said it. She did it. She got to where the garment was. She received it. And we talked earlier this week that faith, the word receive, is uh, uh, the word fa- uh, receive is to take it. The word uh, for our faith, re- believe you receive it when you pray, take it when you pray, and that word means take it, take it, take it. Every time you see receive in the scripture, it's take it. So you know it's an action word. It, it's, some, it's not just, when we read the English word receive, we just think, well, it's like, if somebody's going to give me a gift, I'll receive it. But I didn't take it until they put it in my hands. And then, I mean, I didn't receive it until they put it in my hands. But in this situation, this Greek word means take it. I take it. I take my healing. At the first sign of a symptom or sickness or a bad feeling or anything else, which I rarely ever have, I take my healing. I don't call the pastor. I don't wait till the church service. I take it immediately and I say, no, you don't. I've been delivered from every sickness and every disease. I rebuke this. I'll not have it. Get off my body in the name of Jesus. Get bossy with the devil. You're not supposed to be bossy with your husband or your wife or your friends, but it's all right to take it out on the devil. All that bossiness you'd like to use on somebody else, use it on the devil. And then you can go free from all these bad things. So she said it. She said, if I touch it, if I but touch his garment, I shall be made whole. That's how faith works. You say it, if it's money, you say it, you act on it, you receive it or you take it and you tell it. Glory to God. That's how faith works. Take it. Faith takes the answer. Faith takes the finances. Faith takes the healing. Glory to God. Faith takes wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth liberally. We ask in favor in faith and we say, Lord, show me what to do about this. I'm taking my wisdom right now from you and you reveal it to me and I'll do it. And he'll do it. He'll reveal it to you. And when you and I get to where we'll take on things and we'll take our healing on and we'll take on our finances and all, just like that woman did, and we keep saying, and we fight the fight of faith. And we come through the problems and the throng and all the situation and the, the, the shots and the sickness and the pills and everything, the doctor's report. We just keep going and we keep saying, Jesus is going to heal me. Jesus is going to heal me. Don't I look like Jesse when I do that? Jesus is going to heal me. (laughs) Jesus is going to heal me. Glory to God. And I'm telling you what, Jesus will heal you. That's what he does. He is the healer. He wants us well. He bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. And by his stripes, we were healed. If I were healed, I am healed. I am healed in Jesus' name. Glory to God. And you can have that healing service, just you and Jesus right there in your house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Take your healing at the first sign of a symptom. Don't wait. Just get right on it. Say, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You're not coming on my body. I was healed by the stripes of Jesus. Jesus himself took my sicknesses and carried my diseases. And by his stripes, I was healed. If I was healed, I am healed. And I take it. That's exactly what she did. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take healing. 
Glory to God. And Jesus is going to heal us. See, that's what we do. We say what we believe. And if we say the right things, the right things happen. But if we say, I don't think I'm going to make it. I think, I, you know, I've gotten a bad report and the doctor says I've got two months to live. And, and uh, you call all your friends and tell them you've got two months to live. I've got two months to live. I've got two months to live. What are you doing? You're saying the wrong thing. You've got to take your healing. And you can do it. Just one person, just you and God, you can get healed. You don't have to have a crowd. You don't have to have a preacher. Take it. See, take it. Remember, faith takes it. If you go from this convention and you remember that one thing about faith, it'll help you so much. Faith doesn't just lie down and mealy mouth. And I hope, I hope so. I hope I'm going to, I hope, I'm hoping I'm, gonna get, I'm, I'm hoping to get that bill paid. You, you say, I am healed. You say, I have my bills paid. You say, I am out of debt. Every bill is paid. You're not hoping. You're saying. You're doing. What are you doing? You're taking it. If you, could, if you would just remember this one thing, that if you want answers to your prayers, take it when you pray just like the one with the issue of blood did. And today when we pray, and it's not going to be long, we're going to be praying over healing, and you take it. Take your healing. If you don't need healing today, we'll just make another stand for your health. I take divine health. I keep divine health. I thank you that I don't have any sickness and disease, and I take my health, and I keep it. So make a strong statement of faith about living healed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We can do it because Jesus paid the price. He bore the curse. Scripture says he took the whole curse in himself for us so that we could be free from the curse. Sickness and disease is under the curse. Every bad thing is under the curse. And we're not under the curse. We are the healed. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. My Jesus, my Jesus, we thank you. Power goes out of the Lord today to heal us. Let's look at Isaiah 53. This is a, a healing scripture. This is a major healing scripture. And it's a done deal. And then we're going to take it. We've talked about the woman with the issue. We're going to look at this, get this in our, in our eyes and do it before we act on it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Aren't we grateful that we've got a Bible? Amen. Isaiah 53 says, uh, Who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He, sh he hath no form or comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty in him that we should desire him. He is despised, rejected of men. This is our Savior talking about. He is despised, rejected of men, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. But here's the bottom line. Here's the way it really was. That was maybe the way, that was the way people looked at the in the natural. But here is the answer. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Glory to God. Now I'm going to read that to you in the Amplified Bible. Hallelujah. This is the one you, when you're, when you're at home and you're receiving your healing, this is where you go. Surely, this is verse four in the Amplified. Surely he has borne our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses and distresses and carried our sorrows. 
pains of punishment. In other words, the curse. He talks the same thing it says in other places. It says he bore the curse. But this time in the Amplified, it says sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses carried our sorrows and pains, yet we ignorantly considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God. When did that happen? When Jesus was on the cross, he bore the curse for you and me. Now under that curse, we've, we've seen it's every sickness and every disease is under the curse. Sin is under the curse. Everything that Jesus bore for me on the cross, I can live free of. And he bore my sins, my sicknesses, my weaknesses and distresses and sorrows. We considered him afflicted by God, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him. And with the stripes that wounded him, we are healed and made whole. Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases. Jesus bore my wounds. Jesus bore the curse, the whole curse for me. Glory to God. Now we're going to act on that scripture today and we're just going to take our healing by faith. We're going to take it in faith. Amen. Glory to God. Those of you that need, everybody let's do this because it's good to take healing when you're well. Amen. I mean, we take healing when we're well. That's what we do when we read the Word of God. When we read the Word of God, it's being made a uh, blessing to us and healing to our flesh. Hallelujah. So, let's stand up. Let's just take it. Let's just take the Word of God. Jesus Himself bore our sins, our sicknesses. Every sickness. And every, it says every sickness is in the curse. It says even if it's not written down here, it's under this curse. New sicknesses come out, they automatically are under the curse. And so we have redemption from them. And Jesus is the healer. He bore it for us. He paid the price. He took it. He took the whole curse on himself, every sickness, every disease, so that you and I can be free. And Jesus is... How many of you, Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Yes. How many of you, Jesus is your healer? Yes. That's right. At the same time he bore sin, he bore sickness and disease. Yes. So let's just, let's just receive our healing. What are we going to do now? We're going to take our healing. We're going to take it. We're not just going to make a confession. We're not just going to do this, do that. We're taking our healing. Yes. Amen. I'm going to pray for you first, and then I'm going to lead you in that uh, receiving. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do love you. We do praise you. Jesus, we acknowledge you as our healer. You are our healer. You are the one that's delivered us from the curse and every sickness and every disease. And so all of us come, and, and also the curse of sin that opens the door to those things. We thank you, Lord, that when we pray today, <clears throat> and we receive you as our healer, you'll forgive our sins. We confess that as we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive them. Every person of every, every person of every sickness, every sin. And so at the beginning of this prayer, I'm going to lead you in a confession of Jesus is Lord. And if you've already done that, just we're just leading other people that have, haven't done that into that confession. We'll get delivered from sin. We'll get delivered from sickness and disease. We'll just take our miracle, whatever it is. Now, when we pray, that's when we believe we receive it. When we pray, we say amen, we take it. That's ours. And you begin to do what you couldn't do before. If you couldn't walk, move, run, do something. You couldn't bend over, bend over. I mean, you're just not going to disturb a thing. We're just going to act on the Word of God. I'm going to pray for you, then I'm going to lead you in prayer. Father, I lift up every person in this place. <clears throat> we believe your word. We take your word. And I thank you, Lord, that your healing anointing is always present to heal everywhere we are. All we have to do is receive it, take it, release our faith. And so I'm going to lead in prayer. We're all going to come into agreement, and we are going to receive. 
All right, say this. Jesus, Jesus you, are my you are my Savior. You are my healer. I thank you that you bore my sicknesses, carried my diseases, and by your stripes I was healed. And on the basis of that word, I take my healing in faith. I receive my healing. Now we're going to talk to sickness and disease. You say this, sickness, disease, infirmity, inability to move, every sickness, every disease is under that curse. Every malfunction is under that curse. Heart troubles under the curse. Heart trouble, Heart trouble. Under, the under the curse. Every cancer is under the curse. Every, under the Every curse. sickness is under the curse. And in the, name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command my body. Command my body. Put your hands on your head. I command my body, command my body. To, be to be made whole. I am healed. I am, healed. I am saved. I am I, I, rebuke I rebuke drugs, alcohol, alcohol. Any, kind of bad habit any kind of bad habit that's not pleasing to you. Pleasing to you. I, cast I cast it out. And I say, and I, say I, am I am delivered from every evil work. I am healed, I am healed of every sickness and disease. And I take it now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. It's, fine. it's fine. Now begin to act on it. Do what you couldn't do before. If you couldn't move your legs, move your legs. You couldn't move your arms, move your arms. We take our healing. We are healed. Be made whole. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.